morning everyone so today we are going to continue our learning about newspaper reports and we're going to have a look at what a newspaper front page can look like and we're going to learn some of those layout features so by the end of the lesson hopefully you'll be able to tell me what a newspaper report is what are the common features that are on the front page of a newspaper and what the job is of each of those features you will notice some of them are the same as when we've looked at non-fiction books before Christmas but there are some different ones so before we get started you might want to remind yourself of these things so what do you know about the Great Fire of London have you ever read a newspaper and what is the job of a newspaper why do newspapers exist what's the point of them so you might want to pause the video and have a chat about those questions with someone so let's have a think about news reports and newspaper reports and what is the point of them and why do we have them? So newspapers and websites, they tell us what's happening and it could be in Long Sutton, it could be in Lincolnshire or it could be in England, in Great Britain or it could be things that are happening all around the world. Depending on which newspaper you buy, different newspapers will give you different types of news. So if you've ever been in the news agents in Long Sutton or if you've been in the shop, you'll see there are often newspapers by the door. Maybe we even have a newspaper delivered to your house. And some of the ones that you might have heard of are The Sun and The Daily Mail. They are both called national newspapers, so they will have news in about our country and they will also have news in from all around the world as well. You might also heard, uh, have heard of the Lynch Free Press or the Lynx Free Press and the Spalding Guardian. They are both local newspapers all about what's happening in Spalding and there will be stories in there about Long Sutton as well. Our school has even been in those newspapers. So they are some examples. There are other ones as well, but those are often the ones that you see a lot of around here. So as well as those newspapers, you will get news on the telly. You might have seen the BBC news as well or on the Internet. But we're going to be looking at what you can buy in a physical newspaper you can buy from a shop today. So the front page of a newspaper, it often has the most interesting or important piece of news on the front. And that piece of news is often called a story, even though it's true. It's still called a story, the front page story. And the front page of the newspaper, it will have lots of different features to make it easy to read and to persuade you to buy it. And that's what we're going to learn about today. Those features that make a newspaper interesting to look at. So let's find out more. So here we have an example of a newspaper. Now, this obviously isn't a real newspaper. There weren't newspapers in the time of the dinosaurs. But the Sun newspaper, which I've already mentioned, they created some front pages of what might have looked like if it had existed when dinosaurs were around. And you'll notice in your home learning pack, they've also done one, how they might have reported about the Great Fire of London. OK, so let's look at these features. Let's have a look at the first one. So right at the top where it says the sun, this is the newspaper name. It's not talking about the big ball of gas in the sky that we learned about before Christmas. That is the name of the newspaper and it's going to be on the front of each newspaper. If it was the Daily Mail, it would say the Daily Mail. If it was the Spalding Guardian, it would say the Spalding Guardian. But that is the name of the newspaper. And then underneath the name of the newspaper, you will have the date so that we know which day this paper was published. There's often a newspaper printed every day. Here we have something called a byline. So a byline is basically the author. There'll be lots of people who work on a newspaper and often it will tell you who wrote each piece of news, who wrote each story. And where it says by and their name, that is called a byline. So it's just like an author of a book. The next feature I've pointed out here is a paragraph. Now, a paragraph we have talked about a little bit before. A paragraph is a group of sentences in a big chunk and they're often all about the same thing. And then when it changes what they're talking about, we'll start a new paragraph, but it's going to be kind of at least five sentences. You do get paragraphs in other types of writing as well. You can find paragraphs in books and we did have them in non-chronological reports that we learned about before Christmas. So that's not just in newspapers, we get that in lots of different types of writing. 
Then we have a headline. Now, a headline is a little bit like a heading in a non-chronological report. It tells us what the story is about and it's often quite short. It's not a proper sentence and sometimes it can be a little bit funny to tell us what this important story, this piece of information is about. It's often in really big writing as well. Then we have a photograph. Obviously, this is a drawing, but in real newspapers, it would be a photograph linked to the story. And then back over there, the first section of a newspaper report is called the introduction, which we also had in our non-chronological reports. And in a news story, the introduction is going to be the most interesting piece of information, the most interesting fact or event that you need to know about. It's once so that you know what's happening and you want to find out more. Then there are two which are not on this newspaper, but you do get on other newspapers. We have the price. So we know how much the newspaper costs. That's often quite close to the name of the newspaper and the date. Also missing is a caption. And caption, it's the same job as it did in a non-chronological report. It explains what is in the photograph. Just a sentence to say what's going on. So I've gone through those quite quickly. If you want to watch this part of the video again, then you can do. But those are all of the key features of a newspaper report that you need to know and their job. So if you want to watch this again, you can do. So now it's your turn to have a look in the files labelled Friday is a, an example of a newspaper report which could have been written after the Great Fire of London. It wasn't, but it's an example of what they might have done. And it's around the time the fire happened. So what you need to do is label the features that we've just talked about on that newspaper front that you've been given. The ones that are in yellow, I think, are the easier ones. And the ones that are not in yellow are a bit of a challenge. And once you've labelled them, you can tell someone at home what is the job of each feature. You don't have to write that down if you don't want to. Please send us a picture of your work once you've finished labelling it. And like I said, if you want to go and watch that section of the video again, please do, because there's a lot of information there and a lot of new things to learn. So I hope you find it interesting reading about and learning about newspapers and good luck labelling the features.